my brothers and sisters, greetings. Today we celebrate Palm Sunday. This Sunday, the liturgy begins to unfold a series of events which God the Father planned and which He guided by means of the Holy Spirit in order to accomplish our salvation. In the center of this divine drama stands not an actor, but the eternal Son of God. He is Jesus, the Savior. He is the Christ, the one anointed by God to be the Lamb who takes away the sins of the world. The week which is unfolding was once called the Great Week, but now usually we call it Holy Week. It begins with the entry of Jesus into Jerusalem and reaches a climax in the three, day, in the three days which we call the Triduum. Good Friday, Holy Saturday, and Easter Sunday. These days are truly the great holy days of our faith. On Thursday evening, already Friday in the Jewish liturgical reckoning, Jesus realized that the hour had come for him to pass from this world to the Father. He had loved his own in this world and would show his love for them to the end. John 13 verse 1. The Greek word used by St. John for for end mean not, means not only until the termination of his life, but also to the fullest extent. Actually, Jesus would show the fullest love by sacrificing his life for us. On that awesome night of the Last Supper, Jesus was taking of his final act of love while on this earth is death on the cross so that so that my brothers and sisters his followers might be able to share in his sacrifice throughout all ages he instituted the sacrament of his paschal mystery his death and resurrection on Friday afternoon, Jesus offered the sacrifice of himself, which he had instituted as a sacrament on the previous night. On Saturday, the second day of the Triduum, Jesus was in the tomb. His burial indicated that his death was real, not a fiction or pretense. It is the day of supreme quiet the great silence of the liturgy. The liturgy invites us to remain at the tomb of Jesus in peaceful expectation of the bright morrow. The bright morrow, that means on Easter Sunday, Jesus broke the bond of death. By dying, he destroyed our death. And by rising, he restored our life. Now in the Eucharistic celebration, his resurrection cannot be separated from his death. That's why we proclaim, Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You are the Savior of the world. Today, we begin the great holy week of our faith. It will culminate in the sacred tridium, the meaning of the three great holy days of our faith is not lost in the past. It is a reality for us in every celebration of the Holy Eucharist. At each time you come to Mass, you are celebrating the Paschal mystery. So that's the great energy for us as Christians to continue to believe in Jesus as he promised us. Those who believe in him, though you die, you will live. Let us, uh, right brothers and sisters, 
both our head in forward. That means we know the suffering, the pains of this life will bring us to the joy of eternal life. May God bless you.